Hey, how you doing today? I am Tequila Coleman. In today's video, we're going to talk about don't expect anything from a prodigal. Now, I know you're probably like, huh? What do you mean, Tequila? I'm going to share exactly what I mean. But before I do, I want to remind you of our How to Write a Book um, class that is coming up uh, next month, June the 13th. Many of you have been asking, when is the next book class? And I'm here to, you know, just remind you our next book writing class is June 13th. I'm going to teach you how to write, publish, and become an Amazon bestselling author. Um, so if you would like to get my blueprint on, you know, how I have published all 10 of my books, I want you to head over to godordainmarriages.com forward slash book class and sign up today. Okay. Now. Let me bring everything back so we can talk about uh, don't expect anything from a prodigal. So let's start off with the definition for an expectation. Expectation means a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. Uh, expectation also means a belief that someone will or should achieve something. OK, so here's the thing. We already know. OK, when you're dealing with a prodigal, that is the counterfeit version of the God ordained spouse. OK, I need you to understand this. When God give you revelation that the person you are standing for, the person you are covering in prayer is, um, you know, in this prodigal condition. Right. You see the reprobate mind. You see how they're giving over to this shameful lust. You see how they're breaking all of God's laws and commandments. You see the double minded. You see Leviathan rising up. You see the jealous spirit, envious spirit, right? You see the lust of the flesh. You see all of these spirits operating through this individual. You see how this individual is unfaithful, not only to you, but also to God, right? This lets you know that this individual is a prodigal. So God is saying, expect, don't expect anything from a prodigal. Because when you have expectations for a prodigal, you are setting yourself up for further heartache and pain. When you expect an apology from an individual who is still up under a reprobate mind, they don't see the error in their ways. They don't feel like you deserve an apology, you see? So you're going to be waiting a long time for this apology, okay? So don't expect anything from a prodigal, okay? You have to write down what are my expectations. Whatever your expectations are, you have to save those expectations for the restored version, version of your spouse, okay? I'm going to say that again. Whatever your expectations are, you expect your spouse to uh, come back and identify you as their husband or wife. You expect this person to apologize for their action. You expect this person to be faithful, right? You expect this person to, you know, honor their um, their vows. You know, if you're married, you know, you're expecting them to honor their vows, you know, um, and be faithful, you know, to you as their husband or wife, right? You have your expectations in, in, in place. You expect them to respect you. You, res you expect this individual to love you and to keep their word, right? All of your expectation, you save them and you apply these to this restored version of your spouse. OK, so that means you have to know what to look for. You have to hear the voice of God when God is telling you now it is time for you to be reconciled with your spouse. When God began to, you know, show you and reveal to you in your dreams or vision that, you know, um, he has taken your person through their judgment and how God has humbled this individual, right? And now how this individual has a change of heart and now they're ready, okay? They're ready to treat you right. They now see you correctly, right? You got to wait on God to give you these revelations before you open this door back up, before you even expect anything. Because if you expect things from a prodigal, you are setting yourself up for further heartache and pain. OK, a prodigal is hurting themselves. A prodigal is lost. Right. And I'm not saying this to be harsh, but it is the truth. A prodigal is, you know, you know, they're not walking with the Lord. 
They're not ready for responsibilities, okay? A prodigal will fight you on every level. A prodigal will be difficult. A prodigal, you know, is worldly. They're not trying to control their flesh. So, so to expect for this prodigal to be faithful to you, you're setting yourself up for further heartache and pain. All right? So we have to discern what you are dealing with. You have to discern, am I dealing with a prodigal? Or, you know, has God been speaking to me and telling me that this individual is ready and, and he or she is coming back and you see all the signs, right? You see the character being developed uh, or is developed when they come back. You see the maturity. You see how this person, you know, is walking with the Lord. You see how this person is controlling their flesh. You know, the anger is put away, right? They control it their mouth, okay? They cleaned up their circle. They're not walking with these friends, you know, the, this circle from the past who was keeping them in sin. You see that circle going away, right? You have to know what are the things I need to look for and see happening in this person before I even expect anything from this individual because I don't want any more heart, heartache and pain going forward, okay? God wants us to protect our heart. We have to operate with wisdom in this love story. And this is how we do it. You don't expect anything from a prodigal, okay? Because all a prodigal is going to give you is heartache and pain, rejection and abandonment, betrayal and distrust, okay? Dishonesty, deception, right? So we don't expect anything from a prodigal, right? We do expect, you know, our prayers, you know, for them to come into covenant with God, right? But other than that, I don't, I don't expect loyalty from a prodigal. But they don't, but they're not even loyal to God. See, just like how how you're standing and covering this person in prayer and how you're being loyal, you're doing this to the Lord, right? The same way how you can do these acts of service to the Lord, your your spouse needs to be showing you. You you need to see your spouse doing these things to the Lord first before they do it to you. This is how you know that this person is 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 has changed and this person has a change of mind because I see them already walk, walking this out with their heavenly father. I see how this person's heart has changed towards God. When I see that heart change towards God, then I know it's going to change towards me. When I see this person being faithful to God, then I know you have the ability to be faithful to me. When I see this person, you know, keeping their word with God, then I know you will keep your word to me. I got to see this play out with God first because when I see their loyalty, their faithfulness, their commitment to God, I know it's just a matter of time before it hit me, okay? So don't expect anything from a prodigal, all right? So with that, I am Tiki Lacombe, and I'll talk to you real soon. Take care.